Today we are going to show you how to examine a patient uh, for his neck glands. This is a very important examination. Leg, neck glands are enlarged in many clinical conditions and it is very important to know how to do it properly. First of all, I will ask, introduce myself and take permission and have the patient seated in a stool uh, and expose him properly. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Praveen. I am going to talk to you about this. I am going to talk to you about this. He is fine. He doesn't have any problem. So I am going to the back of the patient. He is sitting in a stool. And now I am exposing him uh, so that uh, I can examine him properly. To examine the neck glands, we are supposed to know the group of glands we have. The mental group, submandibular group, preauricular group, anterior chain, posterior chain, postauricular group, occipital group, and then last of all, the supraclavicular group. So it is easier to have the patient's head little bit flexed. In that case, uh, you can feel better. So with the head little bit flexed, my two hands will go just like that and with the tip of this uh, middle finger I am trying to feel the uh, submental limb nodes and then the submandibular limb nodes and then the preauricular limb nodes and then the anterior chain of limb nodes and this rotating movement is important to feel for any uh, limb nodes palpable. And then the post-auricular limb nodes, uh, posterior chain, and the post-auricular limb nodes. And last of all, I will ask the patient to raise his shoulders to relax the neck muscles so that I can push my hands into the fossa of the supraclavicular area, supraclavicular area and try to fill uh, if there is any limb node there. And once it is done, the, my examination is finished. I will redress the patient and thank him for his cooperation. Thank you.